Hey guys, it's Nick. I'm here at Pasta Grill Beach in the town center. It's very old-timey Florida kind of look to it. So behind me is the Brass Monkey and there are some other places over here and I'm gonna walk to the beach and see what's going on on this Friday, April 21st, 2023. See who's out on the beach in the afternoon. And this is the little historic area over here. Very old-timey kind of look and even <laughs> these old motels has that kind of old florida look to it and especially this building over here it looks like a really old building maybe 19 early 1900s or something Category 5 margaritas. So this is the main entrance to the beach over here. There are other entrances down there and over here as well. But this has the bathroom and all of that. And uh, there is parking all along here. It is by meter parking. It is $3.75 an hour. So let's see how this place is looking today. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. So see who's out here at this time of year. This water looks really good, by the way. I can smell the salt water from here. So they got these guys live, live singing bands that go. Got food here, drinks, breakfast, lunch. So this water is looking really good. I don't know the temperature. Let's see. And this is the first time I've been here in about a year. And I've been reading the reports about red tide and all of that, but I don't see any of that here. And the water temperature, I would say is high 70s maybe. 78, 77, something like that. So this is not a very wide beach, but it's a nice little beach town here. And if you go straight up, that pink building is the old Don Caesar Hotel. And after that is St. Pete Beach. So you could probably see it from here all the way down there. And so if you continue going on, then you get to Treasure Island Beach and Madeira Beach and uh, Johns Pass and then eventually Clearwater and all of that. So I am tempted to go get my <laughs> uh, beach chair and umbrella and come sit down here, but I want to go look at some other beaches before I stop and take a swim. But I gotta say, real positive about the water out here. It looks very clear, nice temperature, and a lot of people are out here already, so not a bad place to be. It is a pretty hot day, probably mid 80s right now. So really perfect beach weather, I would say. It's 
So one thing to note, umbrella with two chairs is $40 and each additional chair is $10. It's a bit pricey <laughs> if you are coming out here for a week or something like that you will probably be better just going and buying an umbrella and a chair at Costco and using that for the week or whatever. So yeah, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. Uh, my first beach of the day over here. I'm gonna go hit a few more. But uh, I could definitely just stay here for the rest of the day if I didn't wanna go film some other beaches. So. Definitely a good place to come check out. And what's the crowd here? The crowd is, I don't know, looks more, more family-like, although there is some young, younger people here as well. But it's definitely not, I don't think, a, a party type of beach, like a clear water beach or whatever, but has a really good vibe here, I would say. People hanging out, having beers, margaritas, whatever. Watch our prices. Glass of wine, six twenty-nine. Domestic draft, four dollars. So four dollars for a twelve-ounce beer, six twenty-nine for a wine. Uh, not, not out of uh, out of the ordinary, I would say. And so you got some stands here and stuff with some beach clothes. And I guess you could rent these boards over here. So guys, that's a look at what's going on on Casa Grill Beach in the middle of April on a Friday afternoon. Come check it out, go swim a little bit, and then maybe go to one of these old-timey restaurants over here and have some food or a margarita or something along those lines. Hope you like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.